the figures of what the average contribution of primary sector into GSDP were to be at the national level when compared to the agriculture sector we would come across a figure of 17 to 18 percent at the national level whereas when it comes to our state we're talking about a figure of 35 percent on one on one side it is a projection that we are an agrarian state but on the other side it poses a challenge that no state can survive with these numbers until and unless the secondary and the tertiary sectors grow and the contribution of the primary sector that the agriculture sector comes down that means the growth should take place in such a way that the secondary sector and the tertiary sector continues to grow in a much faster pace than the agriculture sector only then we would be in a position to address the challenges that are posed only then you would see better growth rates only then you would see a situation where you can talk about economic boost in fact so much so is the challenge posed by the bifurcation that in fact we have lost out on Hyderabad now why, why is it that Hyderabad is so very important to us and why is it that we losing Hyderabad has an impact on the state every state for it to progress you need to have an economic engine and that economic engine for decades to our erstwhile state was Hyderabad in fact uh, to give a perspective the central government those days used the public sector as the main vehicle to stimulate economic growth in fact uh, if we were to see uh, the institutions such as IDPL, NMDC, NFC, IICT and so forth they were all set up in Hyderabad because of the fact that public sector undertakings these huge investments came up in Hyderabad Hyderabad as an area grew beyond any other place in the state that is the reason why but once these kind of institutions come up then automatically it leads to a transformation it leads to better salaried employees coming out of that location coming out of that place which in turn leads to a cyclic effect where better institutions would come up overall economic growth takes place and then the, the city starts moving and growing unfortunately for us it so happened that 90 percent of the entire PSUs which to the erstwhile state of Andhra Pradesh have all come up only in Hyderabad and because of that Hyderabad grew at a much faster pace than any other place in the state in fact so much so that uh, the services sector in Telangana for instance grew is now currently positioned at uh, a 62.87 percent uh, the tertiary sector whereas the national average is 55 percent and uh, in the same the tertiary state of Andhra Pradesh we stand at mere 40 percent so the agriculture sector what is what should be at 17 percent as a national average 
we are at 35 percent. The services sector, which is the tertiary sector, which should have actually been at 55 percent, which is the national average, we are at 40 percent, whereas Telangana is at 62.87 percent of the state's GSDP comes from just the services sector, that is the tertiary sector, and predominantly from Hyderabad. So until and unless you have a similar kind of situation, the Andhra Pradesh's economy, we will never see the services, the rise of the services sector. It's only the manufacturing sector that is we are on par with the national average, which is 25%, which is the secondary sector. But there is a huge thrust that should be put in the tertiary sector, which should grow leaps and bounds, which is the services sector. And our dependence on agriculture gradually should come down, per se meaning to say, per se not meaning to say that uh, the growth should come down. The growth in agriculture sector is per se not much. You do not have, you do not see the kind of numbers what you see in the services sector. It's very important for any particular state to grow. It's very important that the secondary sector, that is the, ter that is, uh, the services sector, that is the tertiary sector, should grow leaps and bounds. In fact, uh, owing to this reason, the per capita income of Andhra Pradesh, if one were to compare with Telangana, is only 2,19,518. When compared to the figures of those in Telangana, you would see 3,12,398 for the year 2022. This is the per capita income. Predominantly, it is coming from Hyderabad. The reason why I am saying this is, we would have to have a balanced growth. We would have to have, we would have to harness the strengths that we have. We have a huge coastline of, uh, our second largest coastline in fact in the country, 974 kilometer of coastline. Now this is one potential that we need to harness to ensure that we have an economy which is port-led economy, which would support the manufacturing side. While we support the manufacturing side through port-led development, developing our 974-kilometer coastline with various nodes, industrial nodes coming up closer to the ports, while we do so, we also need to strengthen our services sector Developing Visakhapatnam, developing Vizak. It's got to be a mix of, of both. Only then we would see this kind of uh, growth rate. In fact, to do so, 